So this is a music video that I shot a few months ago. It's a live one take performance video. And this is actually a setup that we had created for a commercial project. And so we just kind of decided to double dip and use this setup with a few modifications. Um, and it worked really well for what we wanted for this video. So let's dive in, take a look, and then we'll get to the breakdown. So we actually shot this on a Sony FX9 with an Atlas Orion anamorphic lens. And first of all, this is not a workflow I would recommend. I do not think that the FX9 is a good anamorphic camera in a larger production environment, and here's why. So in the FX9 menus, there is a de-squeeze option, but it only will put it on the little monitor that is included with the FX9. So that means the image on the uh, onboard monitor and on any monitors downstream, like client monitors, director's monitors, will all be a squeezed image. So that was extremely annoying and the solution is not easy. Once we had that figured out, it worked fine. But again, I just don't think it's worth the headache. The Orion lenses are nice modern lenses. They're easy to use. And here you can see how we have this rig, which is just a Fisher dolly on some circle track. So um, we were using 45 degree circle track, so we could go 360 degrees and have really smooth motion. But as you can see, once the camera gets all built out, you know, it's not really that small. We had a big studio mat box, shark fin, dual V mount batteries. So we used an O'Connor 2575, which as far as fluid heads go, I mean, I don't think you can beat it. It's incredibly smooth great to operate with, really intuitive, and it really worked perfectly for this project. So we had a full pre-light day where we hung these 30-foot theatrical um, blackout curtains essentially, and then rigged uh, all of our lights overhead. We couldn't have any stands on the ground for this shoot because we were gonna be seeing full 360 degrees. So everything had to be rigged from the ceiling. It's also worth noting that this is not a fully built out studio. This is a bare bones, empty space that we made work. So overhead, we have an Aperture Nova P300C, and that's pushing through a six by uh, with magic cloth. And I think that magic cloth pairs really nicely with flat panel LED lights like the Nova. It's a really thick diffusion and the already sort of diffused quality of those flat panel LEDs um, pushing through something really thick and large like that makes a really pleasing and soft light. So that's a six by and then we skirted it all around and blacked everything out so there's no spill and it really controls the uh, spread of the light as it falls down. And then in addition to that, we have two four foot Astera Titan tubes, which are just acting as backlights and fill lights. So, you know, we can dial those in independently and kind of set our levels. And then the last thing we did was use an Aperture 600D with a spotlight mount. And we just shuttered that in so it was only hitting the keyboard. So you have this nice hot spot on the keyboard, really lights that up as well as the artist's hands. And then it also just bounces up and creates a little fill light on the face from that level. The whole space was maybe 25 by 25 feet. So to get the background to fall off to black, you know, we really had to concentrate our level of light to our talent and also get it to an intensity where then we can, you know, stop down or ND down to knock the background away. So yeah, anything like this, you know, make sure you have enough time and enough people with the right skills to make it happen. It's definitely not easy, especially laying dolly tracks. Circular dolly track is a pain. Um, everything has to be really even and level. So, you know, shout out to this crew on this job. They did a really incredible job. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful. Um, honestly, the FX9 surprised me here. And when you're giving the camera enough information and in the right environment, I think given enough data, you can really make any image look the way you want. So that's it for this breakdown. You can see the full video on my website. I'll link it below. Um, I'll also put my Instagram below. Go ahead and give me a follow there to see more. And hope to see you next time.